So tell me, how many play coins do you have? I've got 38 right now. Uh, I had to reset my 3DS recently, but uh, anyway, I got 38 play coins. You can only get 10 a day, but that's what I just did. I uh, went out for a walk after the completion of part 30, and uh, it's now part 31 of Pokemon White version Blind Nuzlocke. We're playing on the 3DS because the 3DS is totally a gimmick right now. Don't really blame people for not adopting it uh, on launch day. Is, uh, there's not really really anything good out right now unless you like Street Fighter. So, you know, don't really blame people for... Uh, I think it actually did have a huge launch day, but, you know, there's no real reason why. I mean, it's super expensive. Not really a lot of good games out for it right now. Um, Professor Layton would be nice if it was actually here, but uh, it's not because we haven't gotten the, the last couple Layton games. There's no blurriness, but uh, anyway, part 31. Part 31. And this part... We're going to be training up Aaron. We're going to give Aaron the lucky egg. Aaron's really good at taking out Autono as it is. So, and probably Stoutland if there's any of those. And uh, I'll trust her to stay in against Emolga as well if we happen to get those. Freak Break, yeah. I probably need to get rid of High Jump Kick. Uh, it's not very good for Nuzlocke. But we're going to be keeping a close eye. Close eye on our egg here. I don't think we have anyone with Flame Body or Magma Armor. Um... I don't know if that's maybe like an alternate ability for Tom. Um, I don't know if Flash Fire affects it or not. Probably not. Um, but anyway, that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, and then we probably need to get some more money in some way or another. So maybe battle a couple of trainers. I don't know. We need some repels. We need some repels. Okay. There's, oh yeah, that's right. There's items up here. But we're going to turn the dowsing machine off intentionally because we don't want it to beep, beep, beep and distract me. So that's what we're going to do. Um... Let's skip this stuff now. By the way, wouldn't it be cool if like you could keep white on and like use the pedometer in the 3DS? Or maybe that's something they could do for gray. Is make gray for the 3DS, which is what I'm hoping. Uh, probably probably won't do it though. Make gray for the 3DS and allow you to use real life steps to hatch eggs. That would be pretty rad. But anyway, they could totally do it. They could do it. But uh, what you can do is skip this grind session and go do something else. No. If you skip it, then you'll go straight to the end of it. Um, anyway, click annotation unless you're a silly willy and like music.
Okay, we're back. Uh, just got a few levels up on Aaron. Actually, just, yeah, not very much at all. Level 46 on Aaron. And level 42 on Sally. Another thing we did, uh, if you did, if you skipped the grind session, we took our uh, Aether, our Frillish from last part, and we put him in the daycare after we went ahead and, I don't know, grinded him up, like, a couple levels. Stop wasting steps. Um... We went ahead and got him up a few levels off Anino so that I wouldn't have to pay for those levels, you know, because they were easy to get. Due to the way the experience system works, you can get a ton of experience off some Anino's um, with low level guys. We're going to move Super Pell up to the top of the thing. Okay, another thing we're going to do is that we're going to save really quick. Why are we going to save? Because I want to test out some of the brightness uh, adjusting things mid part. Um, I mean, it's not like we haven't saved mid part before, you know. Um. Anyway, uh, we got. Let's see how you do this. Home. I know there's some way you can adjust brightness. Mid, mid. Uh. It's ho home is like impossible to hit from where I am. What is it? You hold start. Yeah, you hold start. Okay, and up or down. Yeah, hold start and up or down. Hope. Yeah, I I, I saved in case I messed up and hit um can't or you know go back to the home menu and you know cut off the DS game that would be bad okay cuz yeah cuz start is right above okay so we don't want that okay let's try level 3 brightness this is the middle level of brightness let's see if this is any better um sure I guess this is okay um well actually no we're gonna keep we're gonna ch check that again start these buttons. Start and select, by the way, I do not like on here. I hope on future future 3DS models they fix this. Um, Oscar, we haven't had too much issue before. I think that does improve the way the screen looks a little bit. You guys are upset because I'm wasting time again. Lol, 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 lol. There we go. I think that looks a little bit better. Um, it'll cut into our battery time, which on the 3DS is not exactly a... Uh, extremely available resource, but uh, I think it does make this stuff look a little bit better. Okay, we're going to use the D-pad for more precise movements. Try not to waste any steps, because we want to get up to Route 18 really fast, fast as possible, fast as possible, uh, step-wise, that is. We're in Route 17, we'll be in momentarily. Yeah, we don't want this thing to hatch until we get to Route 18. It's not the end of the world if it does, it's just something I wanted to do for aesthetic purposes. So we're gonna hatch this thing in Route 18, if possible. Start a little bit further, and then we're going to, uh, um, okay, apparently repel ramp wore off. Anyway, here's another Frillish. Yeah, level seven, wow. Level seven? Um, this thing is not threatening whatsoever, we're just gonna run away. Because we would get like five experience. Oh, apparently, I forgot to refresh repels. Um, yeah, we have eleven super repel. I can't remember where we got that nine thousand from. Um, like I honestly can't remember how where we got nine thousand poke dollars from. Um, oh, I guess because we battled some people. That's right. Okay, we're now on route eighteen, right? Route eighteen. That's where we got this egg. So that's where we're gonna hatch this egg. Yeah, we, we battled a couple of trainers in here. That's right. For some reason, I forgot that. How I forgot that, I don't know. So here's where we got this egg originally. Um, let's see if we actually want to hatch it in the house. Oh, this is going to be a bother. Let's go out here and find a good place to bike. Find a good place to bike around a little bit. Okay, this is decent. Okay, we're going we're to bike right here. Calls the fix were off. Yeah, okay. Okay, we're going to... Yeah, we're going to bike right here. It's a little bit better. We're gonna get this egg to hatch on Route 18, which is where we obtained it. So it'll be obtained and hatched on Route 18, and that way there'll be no no confusion as to what route it counted for. I like how when you bike over the sand, it makes different sound effects too. Okay, come on. It would also be nice. If, doesn't Auto appear here? I think Autono appears here. It'd be nice if we could get a Autono to appear in there, but... Okay, here we go. Let's see what this thing is. Oh! Larv 
Podesta, it looks like Arceus, right? It looks like Arceus with, with the white and the way its eye looks. Um, Larvesta. I have no clue what type this thing is. Maybe a bug type. Um, and again, it's female. Um, until we find out what type it is, we're gonna name it Arceus. Until we find out what type it is. Um, but we're gonna change that name, obvi obviously, once we find out what type it is. Probably a bug type, based on the name. Um, let's find out where this thing is in the Pokedex. Check toward the bottom. Um, yeah, it, oh, it's actually right here, really close to Cobalion. Only two above Cobalion. Let's see what type it is. Uh, bug Fire. Bug Fire. Torch Pokemon. The base of volcanoes is where they make their home. They shoot fire from their five horns to repel attacking enemies. Um, another thing Idiot Cousin was mentioning was that, um, was that there was some sort of bug fire, maybe a legendary, I don't know. Um, but we've never had a legendary Pokemon besides Manaphy, which has a special egg. Um, we've never had a legendary Pokemon hat from eggs. And this thing has a gender, too, so, hmm, I don't know. I don't know if this thing is legendary or not. Um. Hmm. I don't know. Makes me a little bit confused as to, you know, is this thing legendary? Maybe. I mean, it kind of has an epic look to it. It looks like it can probably evolve again too. But we've never had a legendary that hatched from a normal-looking egg before. You know. I mean, yeah, there was Manaphy, but Manaphy's egg is, you know, I almost don't count that as an egg because it's, you know, has the special sprite. Um. Bug fire, bug fire. That's uh, see, so cancels out. That's quad weak to rock though. That gets destroyed by rock. Um, so we probably don't want to use this thing anyway. Um, neutral to ground. Um, double resist grass. Resist. Uh, weak to water. Resist fighting. Neutral to fire. Yeah, inter interesting combination, I, I guess. Um, but I don't think we're gonna use this thing because we already have a huge, gaping hole in our rock weakness and uh, I don't want a thing that's quad weak to rock because there's a lot of things that sling around rock in this game just offhand so I don't know if it's legendary or not uh, I'm not gonna kill it regardless I don't think but I don't think we're really gonna use it either unless it has like a sick ability and really good stats maybe um, which would maybe imply that it is legendary I don't know although most most of the time legendaries don't have great abilities they're just like pressure but anyway I don't why am I still biking uh, let's turn on the dowsing machine and get off the bicycle. Okay, um, last video we were trying to get some more items in here and failing pretty miserably. Um, no, we're not going to put on a repel for this stuff. We're just going to deal with it on land. Here's a watch. We'll just kill or run from these things, whichever I prefer. And I put the experience share on Sally so that Aaron and Sally could get some stuff, so... Yeah, but they didn't get very much level, love, not much leveling gains, but uh, we did get, I guess we got some levels on Aether or Frillish. Not that I really expect to use him, but, you know, it, I mean, it's a ghost type, it's something that resists fire and fighting, and is not weak to rock, so, you know, it's, it's valuable to me in that sense. And, and it has recover, which is pretty nice, I guess. Not the best nature, I don't think, on it, I think it's jolly. But, um, yeah, resist fire, immune to fighting, and neutral to rock. So, I, I feel like those are our big three weaknesses. There's probably more that I'm ignoring, but I feel like those are our big three weaknesses. Those are the three I just think about the most, I guess. And, uh, it's, it can handle all three. You know, it resists two of them and it's neutral to the other. That's fantastic. So, let's go, let's take this way. This way allows us to jump right there. That's right. So, yeah, this is how we get over here. Um, but there's still some other stuff over here. I don't know how we get over here. Um, hmm. Maybe... Hmm. Can we... No, 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 no. We can't go up that way. Um, great. Um, how about... Can we circle around the P2 labs? No, I don't think we can. Or can we... Well, can we jump over to the side via this? No, we can't do that. Yeah, there's some there's some sort of land over on that way. Um, how do we get over here? 
And we don't even have the dowsing machine on. There, is, there are items over here, but I can't figure out how to get over here. With the currents and whatnot. Straight up. Okay, here's well, here's this. That's a hard scale, so so whatever. I can't figure out how to get. Oh, we can skim down that way. Okay. Down, left, down, down. Whoop. Here, here. Okay, another heart scale. So we're getting some heart scales. There's more stuff over here. Hmm. Can we get right here? Those effects wears off. We're gonna put up another repel. After we misclick and go to Pokemon. Oh, we actually have the thing in our party. That's right. Uh, here's this thing. Treasure Hunter Radic Team received Flame Body. Oh, Flame Body! So we can, um... And it is level 1. Level 6, so we can't really tell anything about its stats. Um... Has Ember and String Shot. Okay. Cool. Another fire type for us. Flame Body. Contact with Pokemon may burn the attacker. Yeah. So this would have been useful while we were hatching it. I wonder if... No, that's not gonna work. If we, I guess if we get any other eggs, we can use this to hatch them quicker. But yeah, that thing's head! Looks like Arceus, seriously. Okay, so... Yeah, it's currently named Arceus. Um... You know. Um... I guess I do have a name for this thing. Yeah, I have a name for this thing. Okay, so we'll we'll be renaming um, a lot of guys in this video. We'll be naming some of the guys that uh, I didn't get to name real names before because I wanted to go ahead and get get um, pretty much the bulk of the rest of the guys that we're gonna catch caught. And why can't we go through here? It looks like we can, but we can't. Bother, bother, bother. Down here, there's stuff. <laughs> stuff here, stuff there, good grief. And we can't get to any of it. So frustrating, like, why can't we get up here? Can we, like, walk up here and I just haven't noticed it? Ugh, how do we get up there? There's double battle grass down there. <sighs> like, I can't figure out how we get up there. Because that one current is blocking our path. I feel like that's probably the way to it, but I'm trying to figure out how. So here's a battle of a unevolved versus an evolved version. Which, by the way, um, I really don't understand how in the world Ash's Pikachu... Oh wait, Ash's Pikachu attack. That's how it beat Surge's Raichu. Because Body Slam, honestly, first gen would roll over Pikachu, so... You know, like, one-hit KO style. But Ash's Pikachu is hacked. Everyone knows that. So, because he's the main character. There's nothing down this way. Arg, Arg, Rage, frustration. Uh, we still haven't found anything with rage in this game, either. To learn how that's different in whatever way it is. Uh, did we... We went down this place. Yeah, we went down here, and we found there's nothing down here. How do we get... Like, I'm, I'm about to give up on this area because we're just wasting video time. And, you know, usually there's not... Well, th there's enough there that I feel like we're probably going to miss, like, a TM or something. And I'd rather not miss that. See, there's an item down there in the Double Battle Grass. I need to stop saying the Battle Grass. Double Battle Grass and actually pronounce my words properly. Surf on our swan again. Throw up another repel. This is like just wasting repels and wasting time. The whole this whole LP is a waste of time, but uh, you guys are watching it anyway for some reason. There's a level 7 Basculin we don't want to fight. Jump over that crap. I'm just getting flipped around. Uh. Okay, is there any way... No, I don't think so. I don't think so, because uh, I think when we... I wonder... Yeah, let's try this. Let's see if we can even do this. Can we... No, we can't do this. Okay. Oh, wait. Um, no, that's not even the correct way, right? Because we need some way to get up there. And then, yeah, that's not going to work. So this way is a big waste of time. Ah, uh, how do we get up here? Do we have to come in from, like, some other way?
Can we go around P2 Labs in some way? No. Gosh, how do we get up there? How do we get that place? There's not like a... No, there's not a place to dock here. Um, there's obviously some, some stuff over here. Let's go back to round 17 and see if I just missed it there. I feel like I'm going crazy here. This is probably so obvious to you guys because you played this game before. Maybe. Let's go right here. No, don't no. Don't want to do that. I think that's what we need. We need some way. And now we're. Now we pedals off. Now we gotta go all the way back there. I think that's the way. That last bit of area right there. I think that's the key to getting all this, all these goodies. Uh, super repel up again. We're wasting so much time and so many repels, but at least this is making the videos longer. I know you guys get excited when I have like two hour long videos. And that was not the way. Actually, no, that was not the way. That was not the way. This is the way. This lets us go up here. Bike. Yeah, I don't think we can access any further dowsing machine stuff until we figure out how to get to these other sets of areas. We already went in here, right? Yeah, we already went in there. I think so. Oh, random on and oh. Random on and oh just popping up. And it's not really random, I guess. It's just that it appears, happens to appear when I run over it. So, roadkill on and oh, I guess. Brick break. break. gets like plus three on both defenses really good really good uh really good defensive stats okay now our power is off which is perfectly fine okay we're gonna move around crazily with the circle pad okay, throw up our repel i think we just need to be smart here near the p2 labs like this is one of these cases where i would like to save and then do this stuff so we're gonna jump over the scrap Get over here and wind up in front of P2 Labs. Okay, we have to figure out... Okay, we're gonna surf around this stuff. Um, have we been here? We're gonna turn on the dowsing machine. Do we? Oh, okay, there's something right here. Big Pearl, Big Pearl. We can sell this for more stuff. Um, that's, that's it for right here. Okay, um... Let's try to figure out where this stuff goes. Uh, let's let's go over here, for lack of a better place. And this is back to the start. Okay, you know what? Screw this. Uh, I I I could figure this out maybe if I had a lot more time, but I don't have. You know, I, I'm tired of wasting time on this. Screw this crap. We're gonna go do something else. We're gonna go to Isteria City. Yeah, I I know we're probably missing some TMs and stuff there, but. To figure that out, it's going to require more than the time I'm willing to spend on it right now. If I was just playing through you know, on my own, then I probably would you know, go ahead and do it. But i um, wasting, wasting repels, wasting time, you know, and I want this LP over sooner rather than later. So, yeah, screw that. Maybe I'll go back and do it later, but uh, I no longer care. So we're going to put uh, this guy hatched from our egg, this Arceus looking dude. Put him up. And we're gonna get Blair out, I guess. Let's see, let's see. We also need to be leveling up Justin if we're gonna take him to the E4. Although I'm not sure, because I'm not expecting any fire or electric. Or at least not significant fire or electric stuff. And, um, we have dark, or we have, a uh, ghost types, which I've pretty much confirmed that the first one is ghost type. Um, just by here and there, which is, you know... Uh, I'm probably. Let's see, I need to make a list of what I think is going to show up. I know fighting. We haven't seen fighting, ghost. I don't think we've seen dark either. Psychic. I don't think we've seen steel. So just a list of possibilities of stuff. Uh, I guess we sort of need Atmo. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find anything that I really want here. So if I, if I end up to kill the thing, it's not crushing. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just go with, go go with uh, go with Blair for that. 
Oh, we're gonna slide here. Okay, we need to, uh, in order to get to the moor, we have to, we have to go, have to use the water. We have to use the water to get a, uh, no, not like that. We have to use the water to get right there, and then we can slide across. Okay. Pelos effect wears off. Perfect time. Let's go in here to the Moor of Isiris. There's some guys we'd like to level up, certainly. Um, let's put, make sure those guys that we want to level up are at the front of the party. We're going to put... Let's put Sally. Now, now that we saw that thing hatch, we know that we're not... That we definitely still need Sally. Um, as Sa well, Sally is still weak to rock, though. Whatever. Anyway. Anyway, we have Sally at the top of the party. Um, there's some guys here. There's a... Yeah, this place is made much harder by it being winter now. So that was just absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Look at this. This would, like, all be just, like, walkable over land. Come on. Oh, come on! We can't surf right there! It's like, oh, no, you're on the corner. You can't surf here. Here, let's fight this trainer. There's an item there. Good grief. We need to get that item. It's like pretty much given to you in every other season but winter, but anyway. Pokemon Ranger Chloris has an emo guy. We can't stay in on that. We could have Sally was higher level, but she's not. So emo guy, electric and yeah, electric and flying are also a big problem for us. But uh Jason can handle those. He can handle those pretty well. Well enough anyway. Light screen's gonna set up a light screen. Um, which I guess we're still gonna use gear grind on it then. Not very effective, but with light screen up, I'm not gonna waste my time with T bolt. And it's gonna get a two at KO anyway. Or you know what? I, you know you guys know what I mean. Two uh two bouts KO I guess. Although we'll uh yeah we're gonna stand on this too because Jason has T bolt. We're gonna use T bolt. Or wait, light screen's still up. It's gonna protect anyway. But uh, we're still gonna stay in T bolt it I guess. T bolt. First time we've seen Thunderbolt in this game. A lot, lot of firsts in this video. Cell takes over 50%. Wake up slap! Coming from this thing. Fighting move. Not gonna deal very much damage though. Yeah, Kling Clang is actually fairly fast. As he evolves, he gets he gets a lot more speed. As Clank, as Clink, he was really, really slow. But uh, he's been gaining a lot of speed. Night screen wears off. Maractus comes out. Jason just in here to sweep. We're just gonna gear grind this thing. And that was a quick five turns, it felt like. But anyway. Deer Grind gonna finish the cactus off. And yeah, Sally also has experience share on, so she's getting extra experience as well, which is cool. Oh, a citrus berry. Citrus or citrus berry, however you want to pronounce it. Anyway, let's get here, because yeah, we can get on the water here finally. Because we can surf on water. We're gonna. No! Don't do that! There we go. Anyway. At least we can still jump on the water here. And that doesn't really help us. Um, there's a basculin that we don't care about. Okay, how can we get here? Um, can we even. Can we even get that? Um. I'm trying to look and see how we can feasibly get it. Um, unless we, because we need to stand right where that stump is to get across there. Uh, so we can. The uh, things closer to the water's edge are ice. Oh, I forgot we didn't have repellent. Oh crap! This is our ice serious guy. Dang it! Oh, it's a nice. Oh, okay. It's a stun fisk. Okay, cool. I'm I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Um, you know this thing. I think this thing is a ground electric type. So I guess I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. I guess. Um, female, of course. Of course, it's gotta be a female. I wouldn't wanna give one. Give a. Oh come on! If this was male. I have another. I have a great name for it. I'm gonna have to name it. This. Yo, you know what? We're gonna. I have this. I have this thing named anyway. Endure. Okay, that's fantastic. That would have been nice if I had uh, Leaf Bladed there and it endured the Leaf Blade. That would have been cool. But no, we're just going to set up this on this. Uh, we know that this thing uses Discharge. And 
I, I, I'm not sure what other type it is. Um, is there anything we can, else we can go to to just take hits? No, not really. We're just gonna stay in with Blair and take hits. We're gonna use Coil. Just gonna Coil up until it uh, gets a little bit lower on health. Whoa, what? Um, okay, I missed what that thing used because I wasn't looking because I didn't care. Uh, but it transformed into the water type. Why did it do that? Okay. Um, it's gonna have to use that move again, I guess, now for me to find out what it was. Um, what was it? Mud Bomb. Mud Bomb, we see Mud Bomb Discharge. Use some coil. Come on, use that move. Was it Camouflage? Mud Bomb. Critical hit, though. But yeah, at least she's destroying all that stuff. Okay, we're gonna coil one more time, and then we're gonna start throwing balls. Endure. We see an Endure Discharge, Mud Bomb, and we need to... What was that last move? Was it Camouflage? Because I know Camouflage can change your type. But, um... I don't know what it was. It changed to the Water type, so I'm not sure. Uh, we're gonna throw... What ball do we want this thing in? Um, we want... Let's go for Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball's yellow. See what we get. See if we can get it in the first ball. Oh no, it's gonna break out. Mud ball. Mud ball. And uh, hopefully we get this thing, because I, I want this thing. Um it's not it's not dark enough. I don't think it's uh time for uh whatever. Um we're gonna, we're gonna keep throwing ultra balls. Yeah, I hope we don't lose this thing because of leech seed. Because I didn't want to bring ammo. Okay, this thing not wanting to break out. Um, we may not get the stun fist though in this case, because uh, you know, it's uh, it can live maybe one more bout of leech seed. Um, I don't think the battle's been going on. Oh, we have net balls. Never mind. All right, except, well, it's it's huh. I wonder how this works. It's a water type right now because it. I saw that it used some move. I didn't see what the move was. Maybe I don't know. Um, but um, it's a water type right now. Let's see if net ball is gonna get it. Hmm. I don't know, because I don't think it's normally a water type, but it transformed into a water type, right? So Netball... Netball able to capture this thing. Let's see what this thing is. Is it ground electric? Yes, it's ground electric. It's a trap! It's a trap. It conceals itself in the mud of the seashore, then it waits. When prey touch it, it delivers a jolt of electricity. Stunt this. Um, it, according to A180, this looks like diarrhea with yellow spots coming out of a yellow anus. Um, you can't unsee it. Okay, what is this thing going to be called? Um, we have a ground electric type. Okay, uh, a, a male electric type would have been called either Randy or Ronald. Um, however, we're, going to, we're still going to name this thing Randy, but we're going to name it Randy with an I. Oh, we're so clever, because that feminizes the name. Okay, so that's our new guy, Randy the, uh, Randy the, um, Stunfisk. So we have one of these things now. Okay, cool. Because that was, I mean, it's sort of gross looking, but it's, uh, I, mean, I kind of wanted it. It was pretty neat. Pretty neat looking, I think. Okay, so we're going to battle some trainers here in the Moor by Cirrus. Um, I really don't know if we can even get that item right there or not in this season. We may have to, may have to forfeit that item because we didn't come to the Moor by Cirrus soon enough. So... Anyway, Stun Fisk. Let's see what else we could have obtained. Okay, it's another Stun Fisk. Looks like Stun Fisk is fairly common then. Another female one. I think, wasn't ours higher than 18? Ours was like, higher than that, right? Um, because that one's solo level, we're gonna use Psychic on it. It's gonna use Bide. But, uh, we're gonna be able to chew it KO with Psychic at least. First time we've seen Psychic too. The animation on it. Yeah, really gross sound effect, so. Yeah, that thing... We can we can talk to this guy. If there are, tra if there are trainers, I just have battles with them because they may show me water type Pokemon I've never seen. So yeah, I think we lucked out there that that thing transformed into a water type, as it was about to go down if it if it hadn't um, changed into a water type and the netball. If we hadn't had a netball and it transformed into water type, I don't know what would have happened. So Sal has experience here, right? Why is she in battle? We're gonna go to Aaron. 
Yeah, these guys, not too threatening to us. But uh, that thing with Crunch, maybe. I don't want Sally to take that. Gonna go to Aaron. Yeah, Crunch. Crunch is gonna deal three damage to Aaron. Aaron needs her Rocky sound helmet back, too. We're gonna pay it right back with another Crunch of her own. Ours will be stabbed, though. We know Basculin's not a stab. Uh, doesn't have... Why didn't that kill? Um, anyway. We know that Basculin is not water dark like Carvana. It's just pure water. So he's got a Stun Fisk as well. Okay, we're going to use... Uh, actually, Crunch is stronger than Brick Break. If we had remembered that earlier in the game, then maybe Cardi wouldn't have died. That was one of the things that we could have done differently to maybe save Cardi's life, but uh, we didn't do it. So, Endure. It's going to use Endure again. That's going to get it. But I think we're probably faster than it anyway. It's going to live with one hit point. Um, I t I'm tempted to high jump kick that since... Well, no, I think it would... No, it would deal... However much it was supposed to deal, not just the one hit point. Okay. Fisherman Damon goes down. You know, I need to put some uh, lucky eggs and stuff. We're not lucky eggs. Um. Okay, we can't jump over this thing. We need to jump over this thing in order to get the treasure, but looks like we're not going to get the treasure. I'm guessing we it has to be one of the other seasons. Um. Okay, for some reason we actually stopped. I'm not really sure why we just flat out stopped. Um, but yeah, I don't know how... Get this thing. I don't I don't see a way I don't see a way to get this thing unless you can like move those posts in some way I'm not aware. Um, so it looks like this item can't be obtained in winter. Kind of a bother, it's probably a good item. But uh we can't get it. Um I guess I could change the season. You know, I could run the clock back, but that's borderline cheating, I guess. I mean I, I wouldn't care if um I mean, that's, that's, something, that's something that's impacted by real-life stuff. You know, if I did this all in one day, it wouldn't have changed. <laughs> Speaking of Cardi... Cardi! Uh, it's our fault you're dead, though. It's, it's, it's Cooper's fault that Cardi's dead. And it's Cooper's fault that Rita's dead. And it's Cooper's fault that Rebecca's dead. And it's Cooper's fault that Justine's dead. I can't wait till you guys see that stuff. That's horrible. It's Inn's fault that Chelsea's dead, though. Um, Chelsea was a trooper, man. And just critical hit bubble beam, poor little Chelsea. <sighs> anyway. Um, and who else died? I thought there was someone else. Maybe that was it. I think I went out of order, that's why. Um, God, I hope I didn't forget anyone. Uh, so this thing, we're going to see a lot of it in the gym. I think, probably, because it's the dragon type. We're going to use Brick Break on this thing. Why are we using the... Oh yeah, we need to find out what secondary type this thing is. Okay, neutral to fighting. That doesn't help us. Dragon Dance! Dragon Dance! Okay, we gotta be aware of Dragon Dance. That's very good information to find out. Oh man, we need to be aware of Dragon Dance. Crunch. Dragon Claw. Aaron should be able to take this pretty well, though. Because she's really bulky. Oh, not bul Wow, not as bulky as I thought! Oh, wow! Okay. Uh, plus one, Dragon Claw. We gotta be aware. Jason. And Jason is going to be needed to level up stuff. Also kind of makes me want to use Sally because of Unaware. Okay, wow. Wow, okay. Plus one. That thing with pretty decent attack power, then if it did that much. If it did that much to Aaron. Yeah, I know it was plus one stab Dragon Claw, but still. That was a, that was a number on Aaron. That was like, what? Almost 50, about 50 damage or so? She just restored 63. Um, yeah, and Aaron with, I mean, look at Aaron's defense. That's pretty, pretty high. 127, and she still took a lot. Um, but, uh, Jason will resist dragons, so, you know. Jason's probably gonna be our hero character for the upcoming gym. I think that's gonna be the case. Here we get a max elixir. Let's turn the dowsing machine on. Even though it's gonna be really annoying to navigate this area compared to... In other seasons, but you know, we love winter. Winter's my favorite season because ice and snow when we like winter because of that. Okay, there's can we even get this? We're probably gonna have to use the pond, surf over the pond to get this. Surf over the pond, maybe. Billy will get us over the pond and get us max potion. Okay, I, I just know that's a TM or something like really good, but uh, I don't see a way to get it. And we run into a wild fight. I've, I've noticed that sometimes during wild fights, like, everything just kind of stops. Like, the music stops for, like, a split second. And sometimes it doesn't. 
so it's kind of funny that way. Level 35, yeah, I think ours was closer to 35. I think we got a higher level stun fist. Um, we know this thing is a ground type, so we're just gonna go to... I'm gonna go to Blair to Leaf Blade this thing. Yeah, that was that was pretty close. Um, yeah, if that netball had failed, I think that was our only netball. Uh, cuts our accuracy. I'm just gonna Leaf Blade though. I knew I should use Coil anyway. Leaf Blade will hit, knock it down to one life. Um, uh, I'm gonna use Leech Seed. Okay. I, was, I used Leech Seed in case it used Endure, that way, just in case it nailed back-to-back -back Endures, that way it would die from Leech Seed. And he gets a Paralyzed proc on Blair with Discharge, but he's going to get killed by Leech Seed. And Blair gets one health back from it. Sally over 44. No new moves for her. Okay, let's... Uh... I want to heal Blair. I think we're almost done here, I think. I'm going to hold off on healing Blair, I think. Oh, the dowsing machine. There's some more stuff here. Here we go. Here we found a revive. Meh, whatever. Okay, anything else? Um, I think we're about done here. There's this item down here that I just know is something really good. But I can't get it. So here's maybe something... Oh, okay, here's another item. Housing machine. Big mushroom. Big mushroom. We can go... Before the E4, we're probably going to go and sell our mushrooms and stuff. And get a lot of money so that we can, you know, power up our EVs and stuff. Okay, here's an... Oh, a nugget! Nugget, nice! We can get uh, 10 grand out of that. Out of that. So that's that's good to get. That's good to grab. Um, yeah, I just know this is a freaking good TM. Um... Ugh. Would you guys hate me if I, like, changed the season and got this thing? Like, because I'm very considering to do it right now. Um, because I just know it's, like, something good and it's totally lame that we, like, can't access it now. But then again, uh, then again, you know, I, I guess because it's winter, we can act, we act, we're able to access some things that we couldn't ordinarily. Oh, there's some more stuff down here. Cool. Okay, more stuff in this more of Iceris. Um... You know, I mean, it's it's a trade-off because, you know, some things weren't accessible to us before. Oh, wow, there's actually a lot more. Wow, I was about to skip, like, half of the half of this area. Um, but we don't have strength. We don't have strength. Um, can anyone sacrifice a move temporarily? Anyone sacrifice a move temporarily to learn this? Um, we can sacrifice Rock Slide on Cooper temporarily because we can just TM it back. So let's do that. Or Brick Break with Aaron. Um... Just whichever I want to do. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's a trade-off. Um, you know, we were able to access some new areas here, and now it looks like we can't get that item. So, you know, I'll just accept that trade-off and not not do that, because that sort of feels like cheating to me to, to change the date on the DS to uh, better suit our needs on here. So, we're going to use strength to push this boulder in. Optional area here, obviously. This entire place is an optional area. But, uh, there we go. Now that's permanently in there. There's a guy we don't care about. Um, actually, let's see. Well, sometimes this is a stun fisk. Okay, there's an item over here we can get, though. Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball over here. Okay. Yeah, there's... Oh, we can... Maybe get... Okay, we're gonna have to get on the water in order to get this other item down here. So let's get on the water. with Billy. And we need to get right here. Is this okay? Yes. Okay, let's get the side of Carbos. Okay, who needs a speed up? Who needs more speed? Um, I don't know who needs more speed. We'll, we'll, we'll just hang on to this Carbos. Okay, let's fight this parasol lady. I love how we walked like run in front of her and she didn't catch us. She should have totally caught us. Um, So can we even... Is there a way to run into her, I wonder? Uh, how about it's down this way? No. Um. Hmm. Um. Can we get to her? Ice sliding puzzles. Always one of the best parts of Pokemon games, right? 
Um, I think she is... Can we even get out of here? Like, I, I assume we can. Um... So if we go like this, we end up right here. No. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think. It looks like she's facing... Let's see, where is she at? Yeah, she's facing... She's uh, at the same point as this thing. On that same level. Um, can we get, even get there? Hmm. Um... If we can, I'm not seeing it. So it looks like we can't fight this person right now. It looks like she's only fightable in the... In a non-winter. I don't know, there may be a way there, but anyway, whatever. How long has this video been going on? An hour 20. Um, counting the grind session, though. Uh, yeah, let's just go to... Oh, Pellicid City. We're gonna go in the gym. I think we're just about done backtracking, I think. I think, I think, I think. So let's go in the gym. Let's get our stuff healed up. Let's get our party sort of arranged. And I want to see what kind of levels the gym has. I know that we're not going to be fighting Iris in this video. But we may fight and clear out some of the junior trainers. Ooh, Pokemans. Oh, before we do this, before we do that, let's, uh, so now that we've captured, um, a lot of guys. Let's see, the name raider is in, um, it's in the, the big, why is the city so big city in Castilia? Okay, so let's get, let's go in here. Let's go in here. We're going to get our guys that have temporary names. We're going to give them names. Temporary name, guys. Take out Sally. Aaron. Blair. And I think Jason, too. I think we have a lot of guys that need new names. Uh, Randy. Oh, yeah. It, okay, it was camouflage that it used. So, another thing that can learn camouflage. More of my serious. Yeah, static. I don't know if this thing has another ability or not. Okay, yeah. Nothing too, uh, nothing too fancy, but, uh, yeah, this thing, ground electric, interesting type combination, definitely, um, let's see, as far as temporary names, we have, okay, Rad, we know, um, let's see, we have Benny, that's gonna become Benjamin, uh, Adam, I think, is gonna be Adamina, um, I'm seeing that that's the feminine form of Adam, it's sort of weird and sort of silly, but that's what we're gonna go with, I guess. Um, and this thing is gonna be named Rena. She's a heat type. Um, if that makes any sense. So uh, there's fire and heat are separate types. Um, but yeah, that's what we're gonna have rename this thing because it's female. And that's uh, I don't ha I don't have a female bug name, and I don't I, I guess heat is close enough to fire. Let's see, was there anyone else? Anyone else has a name? Let's go over all of our guys. All of guys. Oh, no, actually, we're gonna go over all of guys. Um, all of our guys after we do this naming. Um, one moment, I'm gonna take a quick break and we're gonna rename these three guys as soon as I get back.
Okay. And yeah, I was just also looking, and uh, Adam also means like something with Earth, so that's even more perfect. Um, granted, it's rock type and not um, ground type, which I would associate more with Earth. But uh, you know, close enough. Yeah, we, we know that the name Raider is all the way up here. One video we, when we were renaming Courtney, we I think we checked like every house except the correct one before we found it. So it's like here, I think. Maybe. Yeah, this guy. This guy. Okay, cool. The official name Raider. Uh, we're going to rename Benny. It's, his name is no longer Benny. He, that's a, it was a diminutive form, I guess, of his full name. I already told you guys what we're going to name all these guys, so uh, no surprises here. We're going to name this guy Benjamin. Benjamin, flying type. Um, psychic type is meh, whatever. Okay, and we're going to name... We're going to uh, be sexist again. And we're going to force this to have a feminized name. Adamina. I've never heard of that name before. I was expecting it to, to be like something like Adele or Adelaide or something. Something else with an AD. But Adamina. I guess it sort of sounds like adamant. But uh, anyway. And this thing, which we named Arceus because of the, its face. This is going to be Rena. Rena. Rena is actually Blair's sister. So... Um, grass and bug, I guess that's somewhat similar, but anyway. Yeah, she's a heat type. Heat. Heat warms the soil, and then, uh, the other one that it looks like we're not gonna get, um, unless we get another ghost type, I guess. Ghost is probably the b best approximation for, uh, the last one's type. It's not actually ghost type, but it's, uh, it's close. Okay, let's go back to Opelicid City. And we're gonna go in the gym. You guys have been waiting a long time for us to go into the gym. And finally, we're going to go in the gym. It's been, what was that, part, I think part, was it part 28 that started our grind session? No, it was uh, part 27. So parts 27, 28, 29, 30, and now I think we're on part 31. We have just been going around backtracking, grinding, all this stuff. Okay, um, let's see how many, I think we have almost 30 guys now that we can use. We're getting, well, not, not quite, but we're close to it. Okay, let's go over our main team. We're going to put... On uh, Jonati, here is the placeholder in the party. Uh, this is gonna be better if I show the bottom screen. Okay, let's show the bottom screen. And you know, no, we're not gonna use the stylus. Okay, let's try to get this positioned. Get this positioned. Uh, there we go. That's good enough. Okay, and I'm gonna watch the screen. So, so I'm gonna watch the what you guys are seeing instead of the DS screen itself, so that I don't mess up and do this. You know. Okay, so we have we have Blair. Blair with the first. We're going to try to order this up by the approximate order we got these guys. No, not you. Uh, Courtney. And we got Sally. Um, let's see, in the twist. No, why did I say twist? Pinwheel. I guess that's what I was thinking. Pinwheel Forest. That's where we got our Tranquil, Kathy. And then we got Aaron, our Scraggy, in Route 4. Um, Justine is who we got in Desert uh, Resort. Who is... Um, over here, along with these other four guys, and uh, Cardi, good, good Cardi, <sighs> here in the morgue. Anyway, um, and then we got Justin. So th this is, I mean, this is roughly our like main set of guys right here. The first couple guys we got. Um, then we got, I think Cooper was next. Cooper was next, I think. Maybe we got Cooper before Justin. I'm not sure. Um, but we got them around the same time. Let's see. Then we got. Yeah, because then we got our bags of trash. We have uh, Tasha and La Tasha. And we got Jake later. Um, Randy, uh, we just caught our least recent guy. Or most recent guy we caught. Um, we got Billy over the drawbridge. Um, and then we got, I think, Tom? No, no, we got... Um, yeah, we got, our, we got Jason then in the... Charge Stone Cave, and then we got out of there, and we got Atmo in that next route after Mistralton City. Um, oh, I, for I forgot about uh, our, ca our Tranquil Kathy. Okay, or Catherine. Catherine, Catherine, our Tranquil. Um, let's put her up here. Yeah, because this, the, this, these three, the they were like around part 14 where I started going emo. You know, I, I, I don't think you guys actually saw me catch these three. I think these were all in part 14, which will be aired eventually. I think. 
But, uh, yeah, that part, absolutely horrible. So then we got Atmo. Um, before that, we got Cardi, but you guys know what happened to Cardi. Um, and then in the tower, we picked up Tom. Picked up Tom. And, uh, then we had Jake, or Girder into the Twist Mountain. Um, we got this guy a little bit la later. Where did we get... Um, no, before we went to Twist Mountain. Or, no, 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 that was later. Um. Okay, yeah, we went to the Twist Mountain. And then as soon as we got Nysira City, we got Harte, the Shelmet. And then we messed up. And we got Dennis, the Basculin, and Rupert, the Palpitoad. So that was pretty okay. Um, in Route 9, we got Fowleray, the, um, Minkino, who we know of also with the Shiny Stone now. Um, Violet, our Fungus is in the daycare, so, yeah, we have her in the daycare. And then we got, just a couple of guys, was that, this, was that this video? Was that this video or last video? I'm, like, no longer sure. Um, I think it was last, yeah, it was last video. Um, we got Adamina, Benjamin, um, Rad in the P2 Labs, or Herdier, and we also picked up Rena, and uh, also on the route between before Charge Stone Cave, that's where we got Jonati. Um, we have our Frillish, Aether in the daycare as well, and we just got Randy, so we have, that's what, that's 20, 24 guys, 24, 25, 26, 27, we have 27 guys, 27 total guys that we have, so that's a lot. I wish we could do like multiple select and move people down. We're gonna put people in the order we think we're not gonna use them. We're gonna put Benjamin, Valeray, Adamina. Actually, we're gonna keep Adamina up here. Um, probably not gonna use Rad. He's a little bit too low level. Uh, I'm somewhat interested in using this thing, but I just don't know. Um, Dennis is definitely gonna go down here, as is Harte. And uh, yeah, we don't really need Catherine anymore because we have Billy who does a better job. And uh, Latasha will also go down here. Randy, go down here as well. Um, Courtney, or did I even mention Courtney? I don't know. I, I think I just mentioned these are the guys we had at the start of the game. Um, yeah, Tasha's gonna go down here as well. Atmo has pretty much done his job. And uh, yeah, Kathy is down here on the second tier now. Cooper, we know, is our hero character, top tier, top tier guy. I'm gonna put this right there. Um, Palpitoad is going to switch places with... Oh, she's going to go right there. Uh, Jake also here on the second tier. Tom is going to be moving to the first tier. Billy is going to move right here. He's pretty much our flying guy. We know we're not going to take Billy to the Elite Four, but uh, he's very useful for us. Let's see what else we want to bring. Uh, we know Cooper and Jason are going to be our main characters used in here. Cooper for offense, Jason for defense. And uh, we need to put an item on Jason too. Um, let's see. What else might we want to have? Uh, we can take Blair, I guess. Blair can do good stuff like it. Well, actually, Blair's not very good against dragon types. Let's not take her. Um, let's see. We don't have anyone else with dragon moves. It'd be nice if Blair had, like, dragon pulse or something. That'd be pretty sweet. But I don't think she does. I don't think she can learn it. Um, or at least we haven't found the TM for it. That better not be the dragon pulse team in the Moor of Isiris, by the way. Um, so yeah. We'll take Aaron as well. Aaron has really good defenses. Um, I think that's I think that's pretty much it. I think that's all we're gonna take, in case we get swept. Um, of course, if we get swept and Cooper's with us, then that really really sucks. Uh, yeah, I think that's the summation of the guys we're gonna take in here. Okay, cool. But well, we're gonna take these three. Take these three in. Pretty confident in there. Well, actually, we're not battle box. Oh, that looks really weird. Um, I think we're actually we will take Blair actually. We'll take Blair. Whoa. Oh, right, this is a battle box. Um, you know, I wish you could have multiple battle boxes. That would be, you know, actually pretty useful. Uh, let's get this screen back. Proper. Properly. You're not doing it properly. Uh, a little bit further down. Whoa, okay, we hit the L button. It's so nice to have shoulder buttons at work, by the way. Because that's like a c common problem I have. And anyway, we're going to put Blair... And, uh, I guess we'll take Tom, too, purely because Tom has Eviolite. And, uh, <clears throat> I guess that should be sufficient. I'll set up everyone with items. I think some guys in the PC still have items. I'm gonna need his PC. Move items. 
Uh, yeah, several people have items. Well, I don't really care about Sally's. Um, you know, he can hold on. She can hold on to that Everstone too. And same goes for Billy with the sharp beak. Okay, cool. Let's put. We know Cooper has his Rindo Berry. We did get an Ice Gem for Cooper, which may be helpful. Um, I'm gonna put the Rocky Helmet on Jason because Jason can take the dragon hits better. So let's put the Rocky Helmet on him. And uh, if we have to sit in there and just spam potions while they hit me, you know, we can do that and they'll eventually die. Assuming they're using direct contact attacks. Um, let's see, what can we give Aaron? Aaron can have... Let's see, did we get a black belt? Black belt? Did we get one of those? I know we have some dark glass or black glasses. Did we get a black belt to increase fighting moves? Um... No, I don't think we did. Okay, we're just gonna throw the black glasses on her then to increase the damage dealt by Crunch. Okay, and I, I think Drudagon is a dragon dark type. So, yeah, uh, we're gonna put. If I can find it. If I can find the big root. Where's the big root? I probably passed it. Big root. Big root. Why are there so many items in this bag that aren't sorted and categorized? Uh, I wish they were... Uh, this bag needs, like, two more pockets in order to be... If this bag had those two more pockets for Pokeballs and held items, this would be, like, the best bag. But it does not. So it's, like... Ugh, frustration. Anyway, let's go into the Opelisa gym. First time we'll, we're gonna go into this gym. And, uh, we need to battle some other trainers, probably, anyway. But, uh, we need more money. Money would be good. Oh no, this is not the gym. This is Dr. Light's house. Okay. I don't remember what that guy's name is. He just looks like Dr. Light in some renditions to me. Some variation of the game. Okay, is this the gym? I think this is the gym, right? Bitter Iris. The girl who knows the hearts of dragons. Yeah, there's like dragons on the gym. Uh, what's up, Clyde? The Nova region's strongest and biggest trial. Okay, we're gonna get fresh waters from Clyde. See what's going on here. Okay, the trick. The path around this gym is shaped like two dragons. The path changes when you step on the switches on the dragon's arms. Pay attention to how the dragon's ne next move. Okay. Yeah, next video is... Oh, we need to fix Cooper. Hang on. Crap, we need to go back. Um, next video, we're going to be possibly training up Cooper and... And, um... Jason. I know that sounds really silly. Crap, we need to go get fly. Um, yeah, we need to put... Um... Rock slide back on Cooper. In order to do that, we have to get rid of strength. In order to get rid of strength, we have to go to the move deleter. So we have to go back and do that. But we're gonna be training up Cooper, and uh, unless they're like already, I can already see that they're gonna be, you know, well, okay. Um, unless I can see that from this um, running in here really quick. Unless I can confirm that that they're gonna be a okay. Like Iris is not gonna have anything higher than 45 because you guys saw how much that dragon dance dragon claw 1dd dragon claw did to Aaron right that kind of scared me because if they start throwing up dds then things could get things could get dicey I don't wanna don't wanna um take any risks on that do not like taking risks sometimes we do but uh, we don't usually like to do so yeah, I love how the... right here it's not frozen. Anyway, I think this is the correct house. Let's go in here, talk to this guy. Oh, you know what else we should do? We should check um, some of our guys. I think someone mentioned something about maybe Jake learning Mock Punch, I don't know. We're gonna get rid of Strength on Cooper. Okay, let's go and... Uh, let's check some of our like higher level guys who have interesting, potentially, moves. And let's see if we can get... Was this guy here before? Oh, okay, yeah, Interlink. That's something related to the sea gear, right? I'm not sure exactly how that works. I still know pretty much nothing about the dream world. Um, I just assumed it was going to be something like the distortion world, so... I don't think we've checked uh, Jason in a while since he evolved into Clang. I don't, I don't think Blair has anything interesting either. Um, possibly Lampant. I don't think Swana does. 
Let's take out Jake. Um, Goldor. This thing. And that thing's not going to have anything new. Um, and this. Okay. We're going to check these. What these things have on their uh, heart scale moves. Check that right quick. Yeah, I love how you can hear the hail, like, clanging against against stuff. Okay, it's this girl, right? Should we remember? Yes. See what Jake has. See what Jake can learn. Jake has Pound, Leer, Focus Energy, Bide, Low Kick, Rock Throw, Wake Up, Slash, Chip Away. No, okay. Nothing too interesting on Jake. Um, we theorize that Jake can evolve again, but I'm not sure if it's just by level or what. Check out Randy, our um, Stunfisk. Under shock, one shot. Okay, nothing, nothing too cool there. And you never know. Sometimes some of this stuff can be pretty good stuff. Check Rad, because so, some of these guys we just didn't have, so we don't know what moves they would have learned. Okay, nothing cool for Rad. It's a pretty decent move set on him anyway. Uh, about Tom? I, we may have already checked Tom, but I don't know if we checked him since he evolved. Um, yeah, we have some stuff like Inferno. Um, hmm. Well, that's weird to see the sprite not moving. I think I'm, I think I'm gonna keep Will O Wisp over Inferno for right now. Okay, nothing to ground shattering right there. All right, and one more. We're gonna check what Boldor has missed out on. Adamina, Tackle, Harden, Send Pack, Headbutt, Rock Blast. A oh, Rock Blast? Does Rock Blast always have 90 accuracy? Um, and also Mud Slap. I want to think it was 85, but maybe I'm remembering that wrong. Um, yes, Rock Blast had, um, had 80 accuracy. Last generation. Now Rock Blast has 90. So those uh, Rock Blast cloisters you had, guess what? They're a lot better now. Rock Blast has 90 accuracy. That's a pretty significant upgrade from 80, I think. So Rock Blast, um, what? It's at least 20. It's like 50 to. Gosh, I can't do the math. Uh, 125 base power. So possibly better than Stone Edge. You know, it's a pretty decent. Pretty decent attack now. It's got better accuracy than Stone Edge too. So, okay, let's put let's put Jake, Adamina, Rad, and Randy up. I'm gonna take back out Hero Character Cooper, Billy, Blair, and Aaron. We're gonna put um, Billy back up before we go in the gym once we fly back to Opelousin City. And uh, I also want to check and see. I think I fought the athletes today technically, but that was at like um, 1 a.m. So technically it was today, but I don't know if they change like day to night stuff like that. So we're gonna fly back here. We're gonna check out some how. We need to we need information on how high the trainers are gonna be. So we just need some information. I put Billy up because we don't want to lose Billy because Billy is uber convenient for us to have. I love guys that can learn surf and learn surf and fly. Um, the Salamon start surf? I don't think it does. I don't think it does because it has to use hydro pump. I know uh, Dragonite learns surf and fly. Dragonite learns like every HM except for cut. And maybe one other one, I think. At least in um, third gen, it did. That's really good. This is Dr. Light's house. Anyway. I keep thinking that Dr. Light's house is the gym, but it's not. Okay, we got our stuff healed up, right? Stuff was just in the PC, so of course it's healed up. Okay, so something, we were, there was something about switching around on this guy and the other guy. Our, our items are... Jason with Rocky Helmet, Cooper with Rindo, Tom at Evie Light, Blair Big Roots, and Aaron Black Glasses. Okay, that's what we want. That is what we want indeed. Okay, there's a little circle here. 
It's on a switch, though. Okay, we need some information on this thing. Palace and gym. Certified trainer. There's no one yet. Okay, let's fight this guy. The dragon gym in Opelisset City is where tough trainers show they can carve out their own paths. Okay, there looks like there's maybe a switch on the left side there, too. So let's see what this guy has. We have defense first up with Jason. Ace trainer Webster has a fracture. I'm mainly afraid if these things are like dragon ground, just because the Axe U looks a lot like uh, Gibble. So um, let's use let's use Discharge to see if it it should resist this if it's pure dragon. Yeah, okay, resisted. It's gonna DD up. Yeah, we gotta be really careful. Okay, this is level 41. If this is his only guy and it's level 41, why are you taunting? Um, then I, I don't think Iris is gonna have anything that's gonna be 50. She may have some stuff that's close to 50. But, um, I think we, sh we should be okay. But you guys know how I feel about should. Should doesn't necessarily mean anything. I think we will go ahead and try to fight all these trainers in here. Okay, let's try to hit this switch. Is this a switch? No, it's not a switch. Okay. It's like a long way down, too. God, this would look so awesome in 3D. Okay. Whoa. What's going on? Oh, okay, we have to hold up. I'm right here. There's one-way panels right here. Okay, here's a, here's a twin drills. Twin drills, girl. Uh, Olwyn has Dano. What's this? Never seen this before. I thought it might be like a Dynamicus. Um, we need information on this thing. I mean, that's one thing we need is information. We need information, honestly, before we need to sweep these things. We need information. Information is very valuable. Very valuable to us. We're gonna go to Aaron. Go for work up. Okay. Um, if this thing works up again, I'm probably going to. Just go ahead and try to kill it. But we're going to use a sand attack on it. Aaron faster, so this thing... Well, Aaron's only seven, six levels higher. Okay, it works up again. We're just going to uh, start throwing crunches and stuff at it then. Because I don't want this thing with running around with plus two. I don't know what type this thing is. Oh, crap, 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 crap. No, don't miss. Oh, I misclicked high jump kick. Oh. Wow, that was scary. But uh, Aaron able to smack it down with high jump kick. Okay, good. Oh man, I was scared. If that missed and then him with plus two, man, that was a bad misclick. Bad misclick. Okay, let's talk to that girl. She said she would give us a hint. Jump from a triangle mark. When you land on a switch in an arm, the dragon's head will move and you can move ahead. Okay. We're gonna jump from here. Okay, we land on a switch. Okay, the claw moves. And dragon's head rotates. Okay. Okay, so we have to Okay, so we have to jump off. Do that stuff, right? Okay, we're gonna move right here then, because we messed up. I'm gonna go. That's gonna. Is that gonna change it back? Okay, that's gonna change it back. Okay, so that was a, that was a mistake. Okay, we see Iris up there. Yeah, when you have to jump from the claws too, you can't um, you can't just step on the panel. Jump here, and that's gonna make that move again. How are these, like, stone fixtures actually moving around? It doesn't make any, make any sense. So we're able to get here. Here's another guy. I'll fight him. Do you understand how the dragon's head heads move? Um, getting close to it anyway. Ace Trainer Jose has a fracture. I still don't know what type this thing is. I know it's pure dra I know it's dragon, but, you know, is it... Is it pure dragon? That would be interesting. Um, let's use Rock Smash. I think we already tried Rock Smash on this thing, though. Get a defense drop on it. Can use Dragon Claw. Let's see how much this does to Jason with Unboosted. That's a pretty decent amount, in my opinion, to Jason, considering he's 10 levels higher. Gear Grind's gonna come. The Rocky Helmet's gonna be pretty important. That's another fracture. I, w I wish I could find out more stuff about these things. But anyway, I guess as long as we can kill him, it's not a big deal. Yeah, as long as we can win at KO him, I guess it's not a big deal. But anyway, level 40. Yeah, I'm expecting Iris to have, like, high 40s then. Jason level 51. Tied with Cooper. 
good. Plus three defense. We wanted that. We wanted that plus three defense. Good. Very good. And yeah, we're probably going to be grinding up um, Air, or Cooper and Jason a little bit. Okay, so these dragons moving crazily. This is going to be annoying having to get, get back through here, but whatever. And we got to clear out the junior trainers first. It's our first, first objective. And yeah, I'm pretty content to just mainly use Jason because I'd rather be on the defensive. You know, Cooper doesn't resist dragon. And yeah, there's a lot of these things in here. Um, I'm not really expecting any grass, so I think we will load Cooper up with that ice gem. And yeah, some of these things have mold breaker and some don't, so... Um, yeah, we're gonna load Cooper up, I think, with the ice gem, so that if he needs to, he can come in and launch a super powerful blizzard and smack one of these things around. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Of course, it's gonna suck if it misses, like... Well, I don't know, I don't really have a good way to test that. Do we have, do we have fighting gems? Because I can maybe, like, use, um... Fighting gems with Jake's dynamic punch, or I think I actually got rid of dynamic punch, but I can tutor it back. I guess that might be worth finding out. Do we have fighting gems? Fighting gem. Yeah, we have. Yeah, okay, we have three fighting gems. I'm gonna test that out then, next video, and see if, or maybe this video. I'm not sure. Um, no, this video's gone long enough, I guess. Uh, yeah, we're gonna test out and see. We're gonna relearn dynamic punch with Jake, and we're gonna see. This isn't it yet, right? Okay, cool. Um, we're gonna see if... Oh, here's a veteran. Oh, okay. Um, we're gonna see if, if you miss the dynamic punch, if the fighting gym still gets used up. I'm assuming it does. But I want to confirm that. He's got a Dredagon. I think this thing is Dark Dragon type. Just based on the way it uses Crunch. So, level 42. We're going to use uh, Rock Smash on this thing to confirm that. Rock Smash. No, it's neutral, so it's not It's not, it's not a dark type. Rough Skin. Gonna damage me, though. Dragon Claw. Okay, so not... <coughs> Where did that come from? You're grief. Okay, we need to heal up, Jason. Uh, heal up with a fresh water will be fine. This is the only thing he has, too. It's just a Stratagon. Looks pretty gnarly. I don't know how good its stats are, but it looks pretty gnarly. See, it's got Night Slash too. Why is it not Dark type? I don't know. Anyway, critical hit. Hurt by the... That seems like it was a lot more than normal, but anyway. Uh, we're gonna avoid the rough skin by using T-Bolt. Cool. Critical hit. That we needed, though. Okay, veteran Hugo, Hugo, goes down. And uh, he's kind of blocking our way, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Um, we're gonna go up here. Okay, there's some extra stuff. No, okay. This is Jim, pretty large place. Okay, we're gonna see where this hand, where this hand leads us to. And this is gonna lead us to more places. This gym is gonna be a pain in the butt to get back through, but we're gonna get back through anyway. Okay, more stuff. Let's make sure Jason's healed up. Uh, he's got like 20 life gone. Um, that's low enough. That's enough that I'm gonna go ahead and heal it up, I guess. It's kind of a waste of a fresh water, but what if? We have 53. I guess we can afford to waste some now and then. Uh, I could have used my Rage Candy Bar, but I didn't want to. Okay, Ace Trainer Tom! Hey, Tom! You're not our dude anymore, I guess. Yeah, I want to find out more about what this thing can do. Level 39. I want to see what other moves this thing has. We're going to use Rock Smash on this thing first and foremost. That's okay. Super effective. Super effective. So this thing um, is weak to, weak, to, yeah, weak to fighting. Good to know. Good to know that, that thing's weak to fighting. Okay. Drudagon. Uh, we're going to use Gear Grind on Gretagon, even though it's going to get us hit twice by Rough Skin, I think. Or uh, rather not, or I guess not, because we're going to get a critical hit and kill it in one shot. Uh, so that was neutral damage, so it's neutral to steal. Trying to learn what types these things are. 
Next turn, Tom also has a fracture. We're gonna go ahead and gear grind because we fought enough of these things. Uh, but gear grind's gonna miss. We're gonna see a DD come from this thing. And I hope she doesn't have. Uh, I hope Iris doesn't have the fully evolved form of this thing. But she, there's a pretty good likelihood that she does. But, oh well, as long as Jason's in here and can take the hits from gear and gear grind and stuff, I feel pretty okay about this gym. We're probably going to be leveling up Jason to level 53, I guess, um, as a result of the levels we've seen in here. Because they're, they're low enough that I don't feel like, oh man, we got to do a major grind session. But, uh, you know, they're high enough that I don't think, oh, we got this, you know, it's no problem whatsoever. So, where is this thing going? Is this going nowhere, right? Yeah, we can't, yeah, we can't even go down there. We're going to jump up here. See where this leads. I think we're getting close. Getting close to Iris. Mm. Okay. Strange. Uh, jump here. Just gonna make the head raise. Gonna make the claw raise. Make this move up here. Yeah, I'm not really exactly sure how this stuff works out. But uh, all I know is we're making progress. Haven't fought this girl. We're gonna fight this girl. Ace Trainer Dara has Dano. We know this thing is weak to fighting. Um, it'd be, wouldn't it be sweet if this was a Steel Dragon type? Um, we're going to use Gear Grind on this thing. To see if it is like Steel or whatever. Okay, it's neutral. Neutral to Steel. Oh. I'm sure it's a Dragon type, obviously, as it's in here. Now let's see what is... What's weak to fighting and neutral to Steel, guys? Everyone think about it. Well, Cooper cheats because he's in the heat of the moment and can't think. How about... Um, it could be dark. Oh, it's not going to be steel. And it's not going to be rock. So, it's not going to be ice. Because those things all have an affinity to steel. So, it's either... I'm guessing either normal dragon, which is kind of weird. Or, uh... Dragon Dark, which I thought Drudagon would be Dragon Dark, so that's what I'm. Those are my guesses for what that Dano thing is. Uh, we're gonna see a. I want to find out more about what this. I want to learn what type this other type this thing is. Um, what else can we go to? Uh, we can't go to Tom. Aaron could come in here and do fighting. What do we have fighting? Um, I don't know. Whatever. Let's just smack this thing around. We're gonna use. T-Bolt first to avoid the rough skin. Avoid rough skin by using Thunderbolt. Chip away. Not going to be very effective. Just going to get him hurt by our Rocky Helmet. We're going to use another bout of T-Bolt just to make sure our next gear grind kills him in one hit so we don't take two bouts of rough skin. Night Slash. Another thing that is going to activate Rocky Helmet. Rocky Helmet, such a good item. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Like, is, is Rocky Helmet, like, banned on Wi-Fi? Because, <laughs> uh, Eviolite just might be. I don't know how good Eviolite is, but, like, some very, very, very good held items in this game. You know, very useful for in-game, even, and I'm sure extremely amazing on Wi-Fi. Okay, another level up. I think that makes Jason the highest level member of the party, which isn't allowed. So, uh, we're gonna have to level up Cooper, too, to get him to, uh... Plus, Cooper's gonna be our, you know, if something freak happens, and we gotta go send in Cooper to, you know, Blizzard! And smack a dude, then we can do so. Okay, this, this should be the last one, I think. We've been in here long enough. Been in here long enough, explored enough of this thing, that this should better be the last area. Okay, we're gonna go around this. This dude is in our way. You're in our way. Look carp. Oh, we can go... Okay, we can go across here. Okay. Oh, there's one more trainer. One more trainer. Is this a veteran female? We have ten, I, we have ten years of experience battling. I'll give you a taste of the veteran skills. Okay. So there's one more trainer. And I, I hope Iris is immediately after this. Um, veteran Kim. Veteran Kim. Looks pretty cool. Um, fracture. We're going to send out Jason. And... I'm a little bit low, but I'm going to go ahead and gear grind. Gear grind. 
I wasn't expecting to fight another trainer, I guess. I should have healed, but I forgot to. Hopefully there's nothing too threatening anyway. Okay, fracture faints. Another fracture. Yeah, I want to make sure we get these things down as fast as possible. And with gear grind going on, we can definitely do that. Yeah, this gym. I'm a little bit worried about this gym. We haven't really been threatened in a gym since gym 2 with the takedown because after gym 2 that's when we started doing our uh super grind set wait what what you say about some of the dragon's backs okay anyway uh okay so we can go back this way right or wait um there's a, is there another wow there's so many traders in this gym Okay, we need to heal up then. Let's use a lemonade. No, we need a fresh water. Okay. Lots of trainers in this gym. We're gonna put Lucky Egg, I think, on Jason. I kinda wish I'd had Lucky Egg on Jason all along now. Because he would be like level 30. He would be level 30. He better not be level 30. Level 53 by now. Oh, wait. We already fought this girl. No! Oh! Okay. Um, did we go this way? Yeah, I think we went this way. Okay, um... I guess that means we have to jump up here? Jump up here, what will this do? Hopefully send this to Iris. Yeah, there we go. Hello, Iris. We're not going to fight you. We're gonna step in this warp panel and hopefully take us back to the start. Yeah, that's what this thing was. Okay, so we have cleared out the way to Iris. And the start of the next video, we're going to do a grind session because that's what we do. And that's what we do. Okay, uh, so I think Iris is probably going to have like little 45s. Um, honestly, we should be okay, but, you know, I, I need someone to grind, I guess, for the next video. So we're going to get Cooper. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say... We're gonna get Cooper and Jason to probably 53. I think that should be sufficient. That's just like two levels each. So that's what we're gonna do. And I think we should be pretty okay. Yeah, I think we're gonna keep... Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the, the Lucky Egg and Jason right now because that's what we're gonna need for the grind session. Um, yeah, Cooper and Jason are gonna be level 53 for this next gym. And uh, oh, also before we fight the gym, we're going to... I'm gonna go ahead and get Jake and Billy in the party. We're gonna test out, we're gonna blow our fighting gems trying to figure out a dynamic punch. Um, if you miss, does the gym get used up? We're gonna find that out. We're gonna investigate that in the next video. Let's put Billy in our party so we can go back and tutor that back on there. Okay, that's what we're gonna do in the next part and then we're gonna take on Iris. And then after that, hey, we can actually start advancing the plot again! Fancy that, huh? So then uh, maybe we'll have Reshiram get, uh, maybe we'll try to get up to the, uh, or not Reshiram, uh, Zekrom, whatever, or the Black Dragon that supposedly we have to catch. I don't know. We're going to find that out in the next part where there's going to be lots of dragons. There's going to be more dragons than there was in this part even, maybe. Actually, probably not quantity, but quality there will be. So we're going to train up our two hero characters for this gym next video. Find out some information with Jake, and go and smack Iris around, I hope. I will see you guys then. That will be part 32, I think. Later days.